for women, what else are we wrong on where you see it trending on social media and you just scratch your head and say, this is terrible. It's completely wrong for women. Looking at all the supplements on the market and we look and see all the stuff that's out there for men about putting on muscle and getting big. And then for women, it's about losing weight. So we already have that kind of gendered effect when you go into the vitamin shop and in the supplement market. And we know that women have more buying power. They're the ones that purchase more things in the households as well. And so they're buying into a lot of these things. But in all actual actuality, hardly any of the supplements have been tested on women. So we look at things like beet juice. That's been all the rage for a long time about increasing nitric oxide, vasodilation, better vascular compliance. We see that in premenopausal women, it actually is not beneficial and it's actually harmful because estrogen is so tightly tied to vascular function that when you are increasing your intake of nitrates through a concentrate like that, you're really interfering with estrogen receptors and feedback. So you end up with less blood pressure control, less vasodilatory properties. But in postmenopausal women, because they've lost some of that estrogen control, it does work. Those are the things that are out there. And it's like people are just shoved all together with all these supplements. But when we look at the audit of all the popular supplements, hardly any women are included in any of the studies for efficacy.